Hi guys, this is Rohit Tandon from the Team Tree Edge and we are back with another video series on key new features and enhancements in Revit Structure 2021. This being the part 1 of the two part video series. So here's a list of some of the new features and enhancements that have been added in Revit Structure 2021. Namely, they are creating 3D rebar shapes and overriding hook lengths, couplers for arc shaped rebars and integrated precast tab. So let's start with the first new feature that is creating 3D rebar shapes and overriding hook lengths. Now in the earlier versions of Revit, multiplanar rebars could be created through the sketch rebar option. But now, 3D rebar shapes are directly available in the rebar shape browser and can be accessed from there. These rebars are called as standees or chairs and are required as supports for main rebars in thick slabs and foundations. So let's see how we can use these. So I'll just open the small project where let's just try and create a 3D rebar standee for the rebars of this foundation. So I'll just switch to a section view where I'll just select this foundation and click on the rebar option in the ribbon. Now in the rebar shape browser we'll just scroll down until we come across the newly added 3D rebar shape. So I'll just select it, bring the cursor inside the foundation I'll just adjust for the position of the 3D rebar standee and click to place it. I'll just press escape to come out of the command. I'll select the rebar standee over here and I'll just adjust for its size and its position. I'll also just adjust its height. Now once this is done, we can move to the properties panel where I'll come down to the view visibility states edit where I'll just switch on the visibility for the 3D view and the foundation level structural plan view. I'll now just move to the foundation level structural plan view where I'll just concentrate on this footing and now I'll just try and adjust the position of this standee here. So I'll just try and move it somewhere in the middle. Now once this is done we can now create some copies of this standee if required as well. So I'll just hit on the copy option here in the modify panel, switch on the multiple option and I'll just create some copies of this standee as well. Now once the copies are created, I'll just select these copies here and I'll also switch on their visibility in the 3D view as well. I'll just switch back to the 3D view where I'll just select this foundation. I'll just click on the selection box option over here in the view panel in the ribbon so that we are able to see only the foundation. And here we can notice that the 3D rebar strandies have been created here. Moving on, I'll just select one of these standees over here and I'll just try and change its color so that we can see it properly. So I'll just right click on it. I'll come down to override graphics in view by element. I'll come to the surface patterns option over here where I'll just switch the pattern to solid fill and I'll just change the color to, for example, red. So now we are able to see the standee more clearly. Now let's just focus on this hook over here. I'll just select this standee once again, I'll just come to its properties where we are now also introduced with a new hook rotation parameter. So we can uh, rotate the hooks at any desired angle. So I'll just try and change the angle of this hook and we can notice the change in the drawing area. I'll just try and bring this back to its original value. Let's now just concentrate on this hook over here. Now from Revit 2021, we can give the override for hook lengths for individual hooks as well from the instance properties. So here we are in introduced with a override hook length parameter to give the override for individual hooks here. Now in the previous versions of Revit, we could do this from the edit type. So this was, would affect the entire type. But now, I can simply tick on the override hook lens option over here itself. I can then just scroll down to the dimensions group where I can simply edit the size of the hook here individually. So from now to Revit 2021, we can give the overrides for individual hooks as well. Now moving on, the next new feature is the couplers for arc shaped rebars. So I'll just switch back to the same project. I'll just switch off the section box over here so that we can see the entire project. And here we can see that in the previous versions of Revit, we could provide couplers for straight rebars. 
But now from Revit 2021, we can even provide couplers to arc shaped rebars as well. So let's just concentrate on this curved beam where we have these curved rebars over here. So let's just try and place couplers to connect these rebars here. So I'll just select this rebar set over here. I can now just click on the insert coupler option over here in the ribbon. I'll just select the appropriate coupler type from the type selector. And now I'll just select the rebars that are to be joined. And here we can notice that the curved couplers have been added here. Let's try and do this for this rebar over here as well. So I'll just switch to the appropriate type over here. I can then again just select the connecting rebars and the couplers are placed here as well. So now from Revit 2021, curved couplers can be added to curved shaped rebars as well. Now moving on, the last new feature is the integrated precast tab. So again, in previous releases, precast tools were available as add-ons in Revit and had to be installed separately. But now they have been integrated with Revit and we have a dedicated precast tab in Revit 2021. So let's just check it out. Now this precast tab can be used to convert the structural walls and floors into precast segments. So there are some precast segments already shown over there. Let's see how we can convert these structural walls or the floors into precast segments. So let's just try and convert this structural wall into its precast segments. So I'll just switch to the precast tab and let's just start with the configuration settings. So I'll just click on this configuration option over here in the ribbon. This opens a dialog box where we can just set the separate or different parameters for the precast segments for the walls and the slabs as well. So if I just concentrate on the walls over here, we can just click on the parts option over here and we can select the kind of lifters that are required. Also, if we come down to segmentation, we can just select the or set the minimum wall length and the maximum wall length or the minimum wall height or the maximum wall heights as well. So all these parameters can be set beforehand. We can move to the reinforcement option as well, where we can just simply set the kind of rebars required on the inner side of the wall or the outside of the wall as well. So if we are choosing the fabric option, then we can use that. If we want simple area reinforcement, then we can just simply come to this tab over here and we can just set the type of rebar required as well. So all these changes can be made here. We can then just move to the shop drawings option over here as well. So Revit automatically produces shop drawings for the reinforcement of the uh, fabricated parts. So the parameters for that shop drawings can also be set from here. The same things can be done for the slabs as well. So parts, segmentation, reinforcement and shop drawings option are also available for the slabs over here as well. So I'll just simply click on OK so that we can just use the default values. Once that is done, I'll just select the wall that has to be converted into its precast segments. I'll just switch back to the precast tab and I'll just simply click on split. So Revit just splits the wall into its dedicated precast segments over here. If required, we can just select the wall here. We can just right click on it. So I'll just make use of the tab key to select the entire wall. I'll just right click on it and I'll just hide this wall in the view so that we can see the precast segments over here clearly. Now these precast segments are basically the assemblies over here. And these assemblies consist of the individual parts that have been converted here. Now these assemblies can also be accessed from the project browser. So over here we get all the assemblies that are there. If required, we can just right click on any particular assembly and we can select that from here as well. Now moving on, we can just uh, select a particular assembly. I can right click and I can just 
override its graphic over here so i'll just come down to override graphics by element i'll just increase its transparency so that later on we can see the rebar that we'll be adding over here and if required we can just change the color display of the assembly of the precast segment over here as well so i'll do the same thing for this assembly over here as well so i'll just right click override graphics in view by element and i'll just try and increase its transparency here as well now once done let's just move on and see how we can add rebars to these prefabricated parts so i'll just come to the reinforcement option over here if required we can just open this reinforcement drop down here as well and we can again come to the cfs configuration over here that is basically the custom fabric sheet configuration and we can just set the maximum length for the fabric sheets and the minimum length over here as well so all these parameters can be adjusted here the type of rebars that are required to be used can also be set here beforehand we can then just simply click on the reinforcement option we can then just simply select the part that we just want to reinforce with so i'll just select this and i'll just simply click on finish over here in the options bar it will just ask you the kind of rebar that we want to place so i'll just select the fabric two layers over here and we can then click on ok and revit just adds the rebar over here on the wall now if required i can make use of the tab key to just select the individual fabricated sheets over here and we can now edit their visibility states for 3d view as well so i can just convert this as solid for 3d views over here as well so this is again a new feature that has been added over here in revit 2021 now once this is done uh, we can also select a particular part over here and if required we can just simply directly add rebars over here as well and once those rebars are added we can later on convert those rebars to custom fabric sheets as well through this option now moving on in the end what we can do is we can generate shop drawings as well so i'll just select this assembly over here i'll just come down to the precast tab once again and i'll just click on shop drawings so revit just automatically starts creating the shop drawings over here where it starts by creating the part list it also creates the material takeoffs and also the rebar list over here as well now these are simple schedules same as we use in revit structure normally so they can be edited as required from here as well now moving on we can just switch to the sheet view over here as well and here we can notice that the pre-dimensioned and properly created sheet has been created over here automatically by revit so this is again a good option that we can use so as of now i'll just close these tabs over here so moving on in the same manner we can also just create precast segments for floors or uh, structural tabs as well so i'll just select this over here and i'll just simply come back to the precast tab i'll again just simply click on the split option we can just choose the type of slab that we just want to create and we can click on ok so revit just converts the slab into again the precast segment over here i can just right click over here or we can just select the entire floor right click on it and i can just hide that floor in the view as well so that we can see the precast segments of that floor over here as well now we can move on and we can add reinforcement to these as well and we can create their shop drawings over here as well so these are the new some of the new features that have been added in revit structure 2021
For more features, please join us in the part 2 of this video series. Until then, goodbye and take care.